Outreach SIG. Today is Thursday, September 19th. On the agenda for discussion, I have the election. I have our contributor story. Um, Chris isn't here, so we will skip the strengthening community efforts update that would come from Chris. And then does uh, DevOps doesn't award uh, progress on the FOSDEM and our Hacktober Fest. Are we good or do we need to add anything else, Kevin? Okay, thanks. Nope, good. All right, so um, the election is, so we are in the voter registration process at the moment that is slated to um, end on October 31st. So I've added link to how people can uh, vote for, well, register to vote, apologies. Um, so link is there and other steps of the election process is also included on that page as well. And then the contributor spotlight story, um, Shive Lamba, so we have his story, we've got Adrian's story, and then also in the queue, we have Nora al Muhem's story, and she's from GSOC. So we, you're, we're on the same page. Am I missing anything, Kevin? Nope. Um, Shive is ready for merge on Tuesday, and then I have to compile Adrian's into a pull request and submit that. Uh, and then once I get that taken care of, I'll start the work on yours. Okay, thank you. And then I will start hounding the other folks as well, send out um, additional um, reminder for them to fill out the form. Sounds good. Okay, DevOps Dozen Award. So um, it looks like I'm going to apply the Jenkins project for the same award category as we did last year, which is most innovative DevOps open source project. This one, this is the only one that seems applicable to us. Um, so it's, I'm going to, uh, so I've started a draft. I barely put anything on it yet, uh, but I've been digging for data. And I think the challenge this year, what helped us last year was that we had a press release where we talked about how um, Jenkins has grown over the years and we had some really good solid data. We don't have that this year to, um, to support us. Um, so I am working with the marketing team to see if they can help us out with regards to data. Um, you know, there's lots of data houses out there that perhaps, you know, they have subscriptions to that we could leverage. So that looks to be like um, a lot of work, um, but I'm working on it. I have a month. <laughs> um, but um, like I said, the, the, the document is the application. I put in a work document, so feel free to hop in and out and take a look. I'd love to get your review, Kevin, eventually. Mm -hmm. um, so that's that, but I do need to fill it up because right now I'm just gathering data. Okay, okay. no worries. Um, so FOSTEM, uh, I have reached out to the beta co-work uh, facility that hosted us last year. They were kind enough to give us the, the, the free space. So, I have completed the all the documentation that they had request from requested from us. So um, right now it looks like Fostum um, does not have a date yet. I've checked their website; they don't have a date. So as soon as they have a date, then I can go back to Beta Cowork and say, "Hey, this is the date that we like to host our event. What says you?" But so far, it's looking to be okay. I'm not seeing any worries about us not being able to get a complimentary room from, from them. Yeah. Um, and then the last thing is Hacktoberfest. Um, that's going to start on October 1st. So I know that Mark, Darren, and Bruno are working on the planning of this. And um, I think either 
Mark or Darren is going to put out a post, a blog post uh, soon about it um, for how to um, get started or participate in all that good stuff. And um, I've go I've been going through some of the stuff for the site as well for Jenkins.io to help grab some issues and create something. Um, mm -hmm. So uh, we've got a little traction on one of those at the moment, and there's a few more that um, will still be available, I'm assuming, in a week. So uh, they're, they narrowed the uh, issues list down from like 150 or something to 50. So they've okay. really refined what's what, what we're going to have available to make it better for everyone overall. Cool. Um, yeah, that's good. And I know that CDF is going to be participating in Hacktoberfest as well. So um, they will be helping us to get the word out and all that good stuff. Um, yeah, there's. I know there's lots of leg work that needs to be done for this event. So looking forward to it. And I'm hoping that we can also attract additional uh, mentors for GSOC for next year. So that would be good. All right. Um, anything else, Kevin? Uh, yeah, just on the election stuff. Um, yeah. From the discussion we were having uh, earlier this week, I think Mark was intending on writing up a uh, uh, voter registration announcement blog post since we're in that period right now. So mm -hmm. uh, he was he was mentioning the other day he was going to have it, um, but nothing's come through yet but just something to be on the lookout for is a blog post for the registration voter registration and then um potentially a separate one with uh candidate statements in the meantime and then um there'll be another follow-up once the voting is actually open so um we're trying to make sure that there's a few different announcements so that we have constant presence instead of just like one at the beginning one at the beginning and end of the last cycle stuff like that so yeah, that makes sense. And as soon as I see those posts comes out, um, I will put tweets and um, LinkedIn posts together as well. So just waiting. I'm um, just waiting for those. Yeah. Cool, cool. So I think we're good. Yeah, no, that covers everything for me. Thank you very much, Alyssa. Okay. Thanks so much for joining me. Yeah, of course. Never let you do All this right. alone. <laughs> Thank you. You're so kind. All right. Have a great one. Bye. Bye, Kevin.